Hello, fifth graders, it's Mrs. Balatash, and we are going to start a new unit. We're gonna start a, a unit called Living Systems, and there's really an important word. Well, there's two important words in there. Living, so things that are living, and systems. And a system is a collection of interacting parts. So we talked about a system when we talked about engineering, right? We talked about there was tools, systems, and processes. And a tool is like, like a spoon. It's just one part. A system is interacting parts. So I, I have this marker, and this marker is a system. It has a cap that keeps the ink from getting dried out. It has a container. It has a felt tip, and it has the ink inside. And all of those interacting parts work together so that I can write on the board. So this is a system. We are going to start looking at Earth's systems. And so in our last unit, we talked about the Earth. We talked about the Earth, how it fit into the solar system. Oh, there's that word system again. The sun with a bunch of interacting parts, planets, meteors, comets, all these things that interact with the sun. So the Earth was one part of the solar system. But the Earth itself is also a system. And the Earth system consists of four parts. The Earth system. So we're gonna talk about the Earth system and the system, the Earth system has four parts. We've talked about three of them, kind of. So the first one is the geosphere. So the geosphere, we talked a lot about this in fourth grade. Geo means earth. So this is the soil, rocks, and minerals. All of those parts that are the solid earth. Then there is the hydrosphere. And we just talked about that when we talked about the water cycle, right? So the hydrosphere is uh, all forms of water, all forms of water on Earth. And water can be in three different phases. It can be a solid, like ice. It can be a liquid, like water. And it can be a gas, like water vapor. Then we have the atmosphere. And we talked about the atmosphere in our last unit. And that is all the gases that surround Earth. And those gases and that atmosphere protects us from the sun's harmful rays and from space, from things coming in and crashing into the Earth. Now there is a fourth sphere that we really haven't spoken about yet, and that is the biosphere. And if you look at bio, you guys know, or maybe you don't know yet, but now you do, that means all living things, all living things. So it means plants, animals, protists, viruses, funguses, bacteria, all living things are part of the biosphere. So now we have these four different spheres. Geosphere, the earth, hydrosphere, water, atmosphere, air, biosphere, living things, and they all interact with each other as part of the earth system. So I'm going to go outside here on campus and take a look at our earth, not like a model like this, but our real earth and see if we can identify some of these spheres outside on our earth system. Here are some more parts of the biosphere. Oh, we love this biosphere. There's sunset. And Sunset is an animal living in the biosphere. She's uh, something living. And there are my other two bunnies, Flip and Flop. 
And you see that they eat hay, which is a plant from the biosphere. Notice that their cage is made out of metal. Metal comes from ores that are in the geosphere. They drink water from the hydrosphere. They're breathing the air from the atmosphere. All of these are part of the biosphere, but they interact with the entire Earth system. They depend on the entire Earth system. The turtles in the turtle tank are part of the biosphere, right? They eat food that was grown in the soil. They, because they eat both, they're both, they're uh, omnivore, they eat both plants and animals. They're swimming in the hydrosphere, but they don't breathe water, right? They breathe air, they come up ab above the surface to breathe. So they need the atmosphere so they can breathe. The glass that their cage is made out of comes from a rock, which is melted and turned into glass. And you see some of the rocks that are there that are part of the geosphere. So the turtles are a perfect example of an Earth system, all working together. Let's take a look at the chickens. There's Cloudy, and there's Fancy Nancy, and there's Lucky. Look around. Look at this biosphere, and take a look. Where do you see other parts of the Earth system? Where's the hydrosphere? Where's the atmosphere? Where's the geosphere? Oh, look, there's Charlotte coming over to visit. Hello, Charlotte. Oh, there's some of the other chickens. Hello, chickens. Talk about how this biosphere interacts with the other parts of the Earth system. So fifth graders, I hope you had a fun time seeing the chickens and the rabbits and the duck. Um, I'd like you to take out your science notebook and I'm gonna turn to the table of contents and I'm gonna put number nine, Earth Systems. Mine is on page 14. Then I'm gonna turn to that page and I'm going to date the top of the page and I'm titling it Earth Systems. Now you may have taken notes when, uh, from the first part of my video, but if not, please make sure that you list the four Earth systems, the geosphere, which contains rocks, minerals, and soil. The hydrosphere, which is water in all forms. The atmosphere, the gases that surround our planet, and the biosphere, which is all living things, plants, animals, fungus, viruses, even the COVID virus, right? And all other living things in the biosphere. We are gonna be investigating the biosphere a lot in this unit. So make sure that you write that and remember to write a question about something you still want to know, either about the earth system or how these systems interact or something from one of those particular um, spheres. All right, this is gonna be a lot of fun, this unit, I'm looking forward to it. See you next week, guys.